Hello everybody! Today is a story about a drone. My viewers and subscribers have asked me to tell a little bit about this device and I've had it for several weeks so I have some experience operating it. Uh, so the DJI Mini 2 drone. Uh, I've officially registered this device so I can use it in uh, Carinthia Ligari. And this is Lake Osiach. So let's see what kind of device it is, how to operate it, how it records videos, how reliable it is and how stable. So basically the operator experience. Uh, I didn't have drones before, I am a beginner. So perhaps my review will be useful also for the people who want to try their hand at having a drone as well. So this is a modern device, it was released quite recently and it's characterized by the fact that it can fly far, it has a stable connection and a high quality video recording. So this is the device, remote control and batteries. I bought it with spare batteries and recommend buying it uh, as it is. Uh, because you always need batteries, especially if you are taking shots while traveling. I really like the body of the charger, the way oh, it's organized. And uh, look, we found our cat who ran away. We caught him in the neighboring area using a drone. So there are practical benefits to owing one also. Uh, as you can see the number, it's, I have insured the drone and it costs uh, 60 euros per year. Uh, the drone weighs less than 250 grams, so I don't need to get a license and uh, undergo training, but it must be registered. I've entered the insurance number and description of the device, so all in all it took me 15 minutes. I've got registration number, which I put on top of the drone body. And it's funny that it's 13 characters, why couldn't they think of anything easier? In Austria the license plate of a car is 7 characters and here it's 13, so something like that. I've pressed the button automatic takeoff and it's flying away. So there are joysticks and uh, an iPhone. In my case an iPhone is attached to the remote control and I can see whatever the drone sees through its camera. So there are different settings, uh, movement control, up, down, reversal and so on, that's uh, done using the joysticks, you can see our swans down there, and there are default functions such as circling, boomerang and so on. So you can use the default functions, unfortunately there is no function of tracking a person who is using a remote control. So this is a spiral movement all around uh, recording and about the quality of the video. Upon purchase the modes uh, 19120, 1080, 2.7K and 4K were available. Uh, 50 and 60 frames per second were available only in the 19120 uh, mode and 2.7K and 4K would work only with 30 fps. Then I have got a notification that uh, 2.7k mode is uh, also uh, allows the use of 50 to 60 frames per second. This proved to be a very useful feature. I got the update, installed it and uh, didn't do anything else. All the frames that you can see are shot in 2.7k at 60 frames per second. This allows carry out video processing, color correction. For my needs for the YouTube channel, the camera capabilities are really more than enough. Uh, so there are three flight modes. Uh, you can uh, fly cinematically, normal and with a fast speed. Uh, so I'm recording in a slow cinematic flight. That works for me because I'm uh, publishing videos on my YouTube channel and what is the flight distance for the drone uh, that in altitude it uh, uh, doesn't fly higher than 
500 as for the flight range I've sent it about uh, 1.5 kilometers. Uh, the connection system between the remote control and the drone is not Wi-Fi but some kind of special one that allows you to fly really far. So how stable is the connection? I've uh, only had a problem once uh, when I tried to fly it through a layer of fog. Uh, so I was trying to bridge the fog and see the mountain peaks. Uh, but when the drone got into the fog, uh, there were connection problems and uh, it automatically returned back to the launch spot. Uh, so there is a function, if connection is lost, the drone will rise to a specified height and return to the starting place. Uh, look, it's almost impossible to shoot wild ducks like this, to come up close to them, because they are very timid, but the drone quietly hovers over them and I'm recording them without a problem. And uh, for the flight time, uh, so the length of the video recording is about 20 minutes. And uh, still the battery hasn't run out, so uh, I've verified the accuracy, it lands easily around 50 centimeters from the roof edge. So I've recorded 20 minutes, still there is a charge, most likely what's indicated in the documentation is correct. In terms of range, I also believe uh, the passport data uh, is about right. So, takeoff and landing, everything is very simple. Takeoff is automatic, you press the button and it takes off. A landing can be done by returning to the starting point. Accuracy is within a radius of approximately 1 meter. And uh, I've launched it from a small stool and it returned about 50-60 uh, centimeters from it. Uh, so the accuracy is provided within a radius of a meter and yeah, that's normal. Uh, my yard is uneven, so I usually land it on my hand. I catch it with my hand and uh, then turn it over and uh, the drone's engine some muffled. But I'm wearing a glove because uh, if your finger gets caught in the propeller, yeah, you'll get a cut. So, controlling the movement to the sides, up and down, is very elementary with the use of the joystick. And uh, I didn't have any experience in, at all. I've just tried it several times and uh, it clicked. So, the device is very intuitive. Everything is done so competently that uh, all it takes is a couple of uh, attempts to understand it. In general, for the needs of YouTube, for the beginners, this is the device that uh, is worth its uh, uh, price in money, so good luck!